Take off the fufu. Take off the couches. Take off the wifi. Take off the money phone. Take off the car loan. Take off the blacks and the white loss. Take off the weird ass drug. I'ma take your steps, then I'm taking off top five. Take off the fabricated streams and the microwave memes. It's the real world. Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. So this is the Honor 90. It just launched in Paris today. And this one will go on sale in Europe and chunks of Southeast Asia very soon. I don't know the official pricing of this phone yet, but going by the past history of the Honor number series, we can guess that this phone will be around the 550 to 600 US dollar price range. So what do you get for this price? The Honor 90 is in my opinion, the most comfortable phone to hold in 2023 and maybe last year too. It is super light and thin measuring only 7.8 millimeters in thickness and weighing 183 grams. Everything is very symmetrical and well designed. Like the camera bump isn't protruding significantly from the phone. The phone just feels like a very nicely constructed piece of gemstone. You know, no hard edges, no hard corners, no seams. Everything's like almost unibody. So I am a fan of this new two-tone glass finish. At the top, it's a little bit smooth. Down here, there's a little bit of texture that when you run your finger through it, you feel the little ripples. And the back, despite being a little bit shiny and reflective, does not attract fingerprints at all. So whatever coating that Honor has used here, this is awesome. And I wish other phone brands would use this type of coating too. Around the front, you have a 6.7 inch, 120 hertz OLED display, resolution of 1200 by 2664. So this is very sharp resolution. As you can see, I can zoom very closely into text and not see individual pixels. The screen is curved, not just on the left and right side, but also a little bit at the top and bottom, making for a device that when you hold it in your hand, there are no sharp edges, no hard corners. And because the bottom of the screen is curved a little bit, when you're swiping up to go home, this gesture feels very comfortable compared to when you're swiping up on a Galaxy S23 Ultra where your finger runs through like a rough edge every single time. No such rough experience right here. Around the back in this visually striking camera module houses a 200 megapixel camera with a 1 over 1.4 inch image sensor. So the combination of 200 megapixels and a relatively large image sensor for a mid-tier phone allow this camera to take in a lot of light because the larger image sensor takes in more light and also with so many pixels to play with honor can do 16 in one pixel binning you can also shoot in full 200 megapixel mode when you do that the image file size is much bigger you don't get the benefits of pixel binning so sometimes dynamic range isn't as great but you can zoom or crop much further closer into a shot than you normally could now i have to be honest when you zoom in all the way, it's not like the details are 100% sharp and lossless. You know, there's still a little bit of noise, a little bit of digital over-processing, but this is still much more details than you would get in a conventional 48 megapixel camera or a 12 megapixel camera. Honor software processing for its main camera is also quite good, as you can see from these photo samples here. The white balance is accurate, colors are accurate, dynamic range is relatively on point. I do think the Honor 90, just like the Honor Magic 5 Pro, tend to brighten up shots a little bit too much so right here in this photo you see that the lights coming through the window are a little bit blown out sometimes when you're taking photos of like scenes with light and shadows it's a little bit better to have contrast than just have everything be super bright however if an image is a little bit too bright you can always dial it down a little bit in post editing so this is only a minor nitpick it's not a major flaw the main camera punches above its 500 ish 600 dollar price range the 200 megapixel camera also allows you to do in sensor crop for a two times zoom that's a lot better than a conventional digital zoom that's good news because there is no zoom lens in this phone the ultra wide camera it's a 13 megapixel ultra wide it does a good job during the day but at night same problem as with all mid-range phones so details are a little bit soft the ultra wide camera also doubles as a macro sensor and macro photos are respectable down here is a two megapixel depth sensor that doesn't really do anything. I'm not going to talk about two megapixel cameras. Around the front, it's another headline grabbing feature. You have a 50 megapixel front facing camera with an ultra wide field of view. So having an ultra wide field of view for a front facing camera is awesome because it allows you to take group selfies a lot easier without needing a selfie stick. And on top of that, with 50 megapixels to play with, you have the option to do pixel binning for a better dynamic range or you just have more pixels so the photos will look a little bit less soft. The selfie camera being so good also improves the multi-video mode, which has been, you know, in the last couple of Honor devices. Essentially, 
you can shoot with two cameras at the same time with this phone it could be any of the two it could be the selfie camera and the main camera or the main camera and ultra wide camera at the same time and you can have two video feeds running at the same time the fact that the selfie camera now is 50 megapixels so you can shoot with a lot more details whether you're shooting your own face or shooting straight ahead and i find that this multi-video mode the transition between lenses is also much smoother than the last couple of honor devices i chalked that up to the chip inside a like qualcomm snapdragon 7 gen 1. so 7 series is not qualcomm's flagship chip but it's still very very capable look at the geekbench score i think it's respectable and i was playing games on this thing for 20 30 minutes and i didn't experience any lag any stutters frame rate drops and the phone didn't even heat up the Honor 90's video performance is relatively good. Stabilization during the day is smooth, dynamic range is on point, but at night there's a little bit of that micro jitteredness as I walk. But portrait video mode is surprisingly good and you can adjust the bokeh after the fact. So you can shoot first and then adjust the degree of blur after. Portrait mode for still photos also look good. Look at the artificial bokeh around my dad's matte scientist hair. Like the edge detection is pretty good, not perfect, but definitely better than portrait mode from a few years ago. In terms of software, the Honor 90 runs Android 13 with Honor's Magic UI 7.1 on top. Magic UI hasn't really changed too much over the last couple of years, so a lot of my gripes with Magic UI are still here. By default, there is no app tray. I believe in Honor's UI, you can dig into settings out and turn on the app tray if you want, but it still takes some digging because I haven't been able to find it. And if you don't have app tray out of the box, that's just annoying. Another gripe I have is when you long press on an app icon, you don't get to jump into the app info and you want to jump into your app info you know to turn on or off notifications you have to jump into settings jump into apps and then find the app so it's a four or five step process when on every other android phone it is a two-step process however it's not all bad i think honor's multitasking gesture is very intuitive you have this little swipe over menu that you hold from the side you can drag an icon to begin split screen or tap on the icon to launch it in a floating window it's very intuitive Elsewhere, there's a 5,000 mAh battery in here that gives the phone very good battery life. This is easily an all-day phone. You can all day be out and about and finish the day with like 30-40% battery. And the battery can be charged at 66 watt speed with the included charger. For my testing, it takes about 35 minutes to charge the phone from zero to full. That's not the fastest charging out there, but it's not that bad. There is no wireless charging or IP water resistance rating, however. And also, there's only a single bottom fine speaker, so no stereo speakers, and that means if you hold your phone a certain way, you can easily muffle the speakers. I'm the Oh man, they got the metric system. Oh, what, yeah. what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with so that's about it in terms of hardware nitpicks single speakers no wireless charging no ip rating that is it everything else about the hardware from the beautiful screen to the awesome in-hand feel to the back texture to the camera module design looks great it feels premium in the hand and i think if you're on a market for a mid-range phone with a great screen great camera comfortable in-hand feel the Honor 90 should be near the top of your consideration so yeah that's about it for this review of the Honor 90 i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing to my channel where it helped me out a lot. I have a lot more content coming, including another Honor device pretty soon and a couple of other pretty cool gadgets coming too. So please stay tuned and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.